waves in the ocean, they're a great way to understand electromagnetic fields or EMFs. Here's why. Waves dissipate the farther they get from their source, just like EMFs. Everything that uses electricity, smartphones, microwaves, televisions, computers, produces invisible energy fields called EMFs. At a town hall meeting in Bartram Springs, Professor Arturo Britis of the University of Florida explained how EMFs die out the farther they get from their source. When you talk about power lines, uh, they might have a higher voltage value, so they might generate higher uh, intensity uh, electromagnetic fields. But these fields, as you go further away from the line, they get smaller by exponentially. So uh, even if they actually are closer to the line at a higher value, when you get further away, there is smaller. Bratis has spent his career studying EMFs. He says if you live, say, 200 feet from a power line, you're not putting yourself or your family at risk. So at 200 feet, our measurements and actually the simulation values show a value of uh, electromagnetic fields that you have in any household or actually here inside the same room. So like uh, this uh, uh, mic or actually the lights that are on, anything that actually has electricity creates electromagnetic fields. And these fields actually, they are generated uh, even naturally. So even if we don't have uh, uh, these, uh, if you will, lights on, uh, the world as one, it has fields as well. So um, naturally these fields are used by fish, by birds to guide them. So uh, these fields exist, we just don't see them. Bratis says power lines have been around since the 1800s and utility workers have been in close contact with EMFs without undue harm. He believes fear of unknown scares people more than the reality should. I'm Greg Corcoran, JA Manager of Community Outreach.